Hello, hello, welcome on back to another episode of Labaroni RPG. In this episode, we are going to put in the Air Crystal. Yes, yes, I would. We've been here before. I did finally find it, by the way. Oh, huh? something fell off. It's a place of crystal. And a key? Yes, yes. We got keys from the other three. Uh, I don't know what these keys are for. And uh, by the way, just a uh, reference on uh, where we are. I'm going to head directly down. So this is the castle that I kept flying by. And apparently I like went up to here or something. Just barely out of vision was the actual fountain itself, so yeah, I uh, kind of messed up. Also, um, I don't think I've uh, recorded an episode of Labyrinth RPG under this new mic. Um, if not, um, I have mentioned this in a few other series. Um, I finally set up my Blue Yeti mic properly, so um, yeah, there's that. So that's all done and good, and I don't know where these keys go at all. I like I really don't. Like where do I where do I go? I don't I don't know. I mean, let me let me let me go ahead and save. Uh, because yeah, I have no idea where I need to go. Where do I go? To this castle? Oh, and I did do some grinding off camera uh, between last episode and this episode, and I uh, got to level forty on everyone. Hello, what's going on? I'm confused. What? What's going on? Okay. Mysteria Tower. Was that what that is? I hope I get the answers I need from Wendir and the other gods. Oh, so this is where we need to go, I'm going to assume. Uh, let me quickly bring up my queue list, because I believe there's some things in Mysteria Tower that we need. There are. And has no comment. After that, when my life finally makes some sense and I know who I am, perhaps then I'll be able to live my life as a complete person. Right now, man, I'd like to tell you something. I like you very much. I'd like to continue being with you after this journey is over. What if it's not so simple? What? What do you mean? What if the answers you seek are not what you expect them to be? I mean, do you remember what I told you back then, in the university, about me being able to sense the light? Yeah? The light I sensed in you was stronger back then, but for some reason, I feel as if it had been diminishing lately. I'm worried, Ares. I'm worried about you. It's normal to have minor disturbances in light of your aura, but your light... What is this, Ad? It's alright. I haven't changed, have I? Have I? <clears throat> <laughs> and! The more we know, the better. If something's happening to me, I'd like to know all about it. I... I'm sorry, Ares. All I know, all I can feel, is that your light is... diminishing. I see. Well, whatever's going on, I'm sure we'll get answers from those wizards. I certainly hope so. Okay, so, um, did not even realize this was Mysteria Tower, let alone that we could even enter this place. Um, I thought we'd been in here before. Maybe it was the other castle that we've been in? Um, I think the other one was in Paragates. I think, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, and I think there was a, uh, yeah, there was a queue over there that uh, I need to get in. Would you like to hold me? I feel cold all of a sudden. Wait, that was the wrong voice. I can't feel you anymore, Ares. I hold you. Come closer. Garrick's just chilling by the fire. Like, t was that really necessary? Was this, was the Z's really necessary? I mean, we, we we could plainly see him just chilling out by the fire and sleeping. Like, that wasn't even even a thing. What the hell? Oh, these are the elements. Uh, that is air. That's. Mm, that's water fire, that's earth fire, and that's fire fire. That, that is... that is weird. Weird. Uh, let's head down to Imperial Gates. Hopefully we don't have to go through that cutscene again. Um, I don't think we will. But, uh, yeah, here. I'm gonna go here. Can I... can I... I can't land here. Ruined City of Albion. Okay, so maybe that is not the castle I'm thinking of. Where is this castle at, then? Ah, it's gotta be this one. Is this Imperogates? This is indeed Imperogates. Good. Over to you. We fought you once before and died miserably. But I'm at a full party now. Max level on everyone. We should be able to destroy you. Monster leader. Uh, I don't remember what he was weak to. Focus. Um, Aura... Steal life, I guess, maybe? Sure. It was a mess. Stunning wings. Ares should be immune to stuns, I believe. Um 
Let's see, fire, I guess, and then let's try... Let's just do a basic attack on Anne. Okay, so weak to light, it looks like. Uh, Aries, do you have a light ability? I don't think you do. Lightning. Um, let's do a counter. Garrick, do a multi-shot X, uh, and just basic attack again, why not? Really, Anne, you missed? Even if we're being the level you are? Yeah, definitely not weak to fire. Definitely weak to light, though. A heal X, really? Really, guy? That's... That's annoying. Um, let's do another focus, and you, let's do, let's do, uh, light. Okay, so that did 908. I'm um, going to try a light combo next on Anne, assuming she does not get stunned. She didn't. Okay, multi-shot X, and let's see, light combo. Use the light, uh, use the light to deal damage to drain HP at the same time. Okay, so it's like a lifesteal, I guess, and damaging? Okay. Vampirism, more or less than the light form. So 975, it seemed to do a bit more damage. Holy crap. He went down fast. He went down a lot faster than he did in the past. Did he seriously get two more attacks off at the end there? It looks are found. Well, we killed the monster leader. Achievement unlocked monster mash. The monsters have destroyed this place. There's nothing but blackened ruins beyond this gate. Found a queue, the old capital. Ares learned to release four. What that does, I have no idea. Um, skills. Ares. Release four. Devastating slash releasing the power of the four elements. Ah. Takes 35 AP for that. Holy crap. Um, on top of that, let's go ahead and use recovery X on everyone from Anne and give Anne a magic water. A couple of them apparently because holy crap her AP has gone up since she's level 40 now. Okay. Um, let's see, was there anything else that we need to get? Uh, there was that one Q that we missed out on from Scyther University. It's clarity for Ares. Um, unfortunately we can't get that. Uh, I think I said we could um, after we arrest them, but uh, no, no we cannot. So, uh, we are unable to do so. So, that just leaves Mysterio Tower, I believe, for everything else that we need to do at this point. Um, yeah, I think Mysterio Tower is the only thing left. Let's go in. Uh, the four gates. Use the water key. Ah, okay, so this is where the keys are used. Earth key. Fire key. And air key. Mysterio Lobby. Music is definitely appropriate. Uh, I don't know what voice I gave this guy. Uh, Ares, this is Abyss, the guardian of the elements. Listen to me well. Find me from the Hall of the Elements. I shall explain everything to you. Okay. Yes, yes, I would like to save, actually. Uh, what is this? Terra, which is Earth, I believe. Pyros, it's fire. Akve, wind, maybe? No, that that is wind, so uh, that... That is probably water. I don't know what language those are meant to be, but uh, that's what they are. And we have two doors here, apparently. Look at the parchment. Yes, uh, the Order of Mysteria. Um, Pyro's Arrow Akve Terra, which is fire, uh, wind, water, earth. Fire, wind, water, earth. Fire, wind, water, earth. Okay, um, I'm going to assume that's going to be important. It's locked. There is no keyhole or doorknob. Okay. Fire, wind, water, earth. Fire, wind, water, earth. The Hall of Elements. Uh, is this where uh, it was? Is you? I know who you are. Really? Let's go to the assembly hall. Zimacon, Croden, Dinian, and Windir are going through the final preparations as we speak. She been unlocked. Guardian of the Elements. Are you the voice that spoke to me at the entrance? Wait. You are the one who brought me in Maldor Village five years ago. Yes, I am an Ibis. <clears throat> Ibis? Uh, the Guardian of the Elements. Now listen to me closely, for the fate of the entire world rests on what you decide to do next. I'm listening. 
You must kill the four elemental gods, Eris. Okay. Say that again? I don't think he really needs to say it again, Ares. I, I mean, he made himself pretty clear on that. I, I... The creation of the labyrinths gave birth to all the monsters of Labyrinthia. The pendant of Labyrinthia, the source of the creative powers of gods, cannot be wielded infallibly by mortals. Zemakon, Crote, and Dinian, and Winter are not true gods, and their minds can never achieve true balance. The labyrinths are a figment born from their imagination. Imagination of will, or forces of a light, the radiant god called Eli. The light. Only Eli has the power to use a pendant as it sees fit for the light of creation, and the pendant are one. The four elemental gods, however, their minds are all but balanced. Like it is with all mortals, their minds are filled with fear, doubts, anger, discord. The monsters are aspects of these emotions of theirs. When these terrible creatures stole the four elemental crystals, the gods were afraid to confront the villains, because the monsters are immune to the pendant's might. When it's wielded by the four gods, that which creates them cannot destroy them. They merely get stronger. And so the gods use the pendant again, to create someone who would not feel fear and who would be powerful enough to fight against evil. Don't tell me. Indeed. You were created by the four elemental gods. Say what? <laughs> Say what? Well, to be correct, you were modified by them. They kept your body in stasis until you reached adulthood. In this time, they use the pendant of Labroni to modify your appearance, your powers, and your very destiny in time and space. That is how powerful the pendant is. Please, Evis, I need you to tell me something. What do you have in mind, young lady? There's something happening to Ares. After he's fulfilled his mission, his life force begins to wither rapidly. Ares was exposed to the pendant's creative power, the light of Eli. If he were to live longer than he benefits the gods, he would become a threat. Oh, Ares. That was a weird, awkward pause in there. It's alright, Anne. We'll figure out something. Why do you want me to kill the gods, Ares? To get revenge? Because if so, not for revenge. To save Labronia. Listen to my words, Ares, for I shall tell you only once. The gods are planning to destroy all the monsters by using the pendant and the crystals in conjunction again. If they succeed, the entire world of Labronia will be plunged into a chaos never seen before. It could destroy everything. The gods think that they can control the pendant now, but they are arrogant. Fools not capable of learning from their past mistakes. Their minds are still engulfed by chaos and fear. Mark my words, if the gods succeed, it will be the end of Labrode. I can understand their minds not being in balance, by the way, like because they're their masters of one element. They're not the Avatar from yes, I'm referencing the show. Like a master of all elements can be truly balanced. Masters of only singular cannot, uh, even if there are four of them. Uh, I understand, but one thing bothers me. Why did Windir want me to return here? He merely wants you to deliver the crystals. Actually, hmm, it's weird. By all odds, you should be dead already. You served your purpose, your fate. After delivering the crystals, it makes me wonder. Is something or someone else keeping you alive? Don't know, but I know one thing. It's time to teach those who would be gods a lesson. Don't be so hasty, friend. <laughs> Don't be so hasty, friend. I'm not your friend, pal. I'm not your pal, buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your guy, friend. Anywho, uh, I think we should meet these gods and decide who to believe ourselves. Fair enough, Garrick, fair enough. Um, game, I did just press a button if you would like to respond now. No, no, you're not responding. Okay, there we go. Right, let's move. And then, don't worry, everything's gonna be alright, I promise you. This is a very long dialogue. Okay, Ares. I love you. I love you. Man. Go to the assembly hall. The gate is locked, but there must be a way to open it. Okay. Um, crap. What did I say the order was? Fire. I've never seen this place before, by the way, so I figured there were buttons of some sort. Uh, fire, air, water, earth? Fire, air, water, earth. I, I, I'm gonna have to remember that. And I don't know what that did. Unlock something. Somewhere. I would unlock this door. Um, got two magic waters. What is this then? An elixir. What's this? Stock clerk's notes. What's this? Three rings in the, this jewelry case. Let's take them all. Ow. Arg, a small arrow. What the hell? Poison, I feel a lot weaker. Ares lost two levels, huh? Okay. 
Based on smell, these pouches contain herbs. Let's take them. Empty vials, chest, found a key item. Staff of Ferris. Okay. Uh, the Staff of Ferris. In this book, we'll be talking about the different powers and aspects of this handy object and educate the adepts to use it properly. Apart from its defensive purposes, the staff has two distinct features. Two. Got them. Two. First of all, it can be used to reveal invisible objects in different periods of time. We have seen it best to shroud some of the entryways of the tower. By using the staff, these otherwise invisible doorways can be discovered. We have also hidden a number of treasures from plain sight for reasons of security. The staff can reveal their locations as well. Oh. Uh, to actually use the staff, its wielder will have to touch the hidden object or doorway in question. The red light from the gem reveals a secret. Uh, the Stone of Peace. The crown jewel of Emperor Deturgan of Impera, the Stone of Peace was forged from a pearl after the nations of the world united under Imperian rule. After this Deturgan, the gifted other royal families and kings of the world with numerous riches to ensure peace and for goodwill, he gave the Red Amethyst to King Tamaron of Albion and the Sun Emerald to the Elves of Ferdell. After the Stone of Peace was stolen by an unknown agent, the flames of lore once again swept over Leveroni as everyone was deemed guilty and thus proven otherwise. The staff of Ferris is glowing. There's something here. Treasure chest? Thunderbow. Thunderbow. What's Thunderbow do? Uh, Thunderbow? Magical letters have been engraved on it. I'm going to assume it does thunder damage. Uh, so there's a plate over there. There's a plate over here. Wasn't there one back in the... doorway? No, I'm mistaken. There's not one in the doorway. I thought there was. I was mistaken. Okay. Uh, to the right, I guess. Right is best. Yes, yeah, so let's go through the secret door. Storage rooms. A um, couple monsters here. A few monsters here, actually. Quite a few. Decent amount. Um. Servant of Croden, Croden, Zimacon, and Croden. And do you not have a uh, hit everything ability? I mean, you have a heal everything ability, but not a hit everything ability, apparently. Wow, grounded them all. You guys got grounded. Eric, just focus some more. Get your BP up. Uh, Aries, just keep doing that, um, and then Garrick do the multi-shot X because that's gonna deal a lot of damage to all of them, hopefully. It's six shots apiece, which is a bit misleading by the title, by the way. It should be multi-shot six, not ten. Would deal more damage if Garrick didn't freaking miss. Also, I really think enemies should not be able to evade if they're grounded. Ah, killed one of them. Go to another one. Alright, uh, you focus again and just do your thing. Um, Quake, why not? Uh, I'm gonna have you focus again, why not? I mean, I know he could use, uh, Ultra Shot X, but I actually want to just keep his BP high for future fights. Awesome. Read the book. Uh, Lord Croden placed his guardian in the next room. I guess that makes me the guardian of the guardian. Fair enough. So, the decision to use Windir's son as a counterspell has been made. The child has grown to a man, but wait. Windir's son as a counterspell has been made. Okay, the child has grown to a man, but his mental and emotional capabilities are undeveloped. Additionally, he keeps on spouting nonsense about radiance. That seems out familiar, doesn't it, from uh, the first episode or two? Uh, which is obviously just his experience with the Pendant's energy. After all, we kept him in stasis with the stabilized force of the Pendant for, what, almost 30 years? So we are Windir's son, apparently. Um, and anyway, we don't want him to figure out what we're planning. At least not yet. If he finds out that his destiny has already been written in stone, he might turn against us. Yeah, we are going to turn against him, actually. Um, thank you, book. Yes, he is going to die after delivering the crystals. If we leave him alive, he might use the negative forces granted to him by the bandit unintentionally. 
This is a scenario that makes Zimicon shudder in his robes. The old man believes that the experiment is one with the pendant's energy partly. The old man believes that the experiment is one with the pendant's energy partly. Confused on that sentence. Okay, I was a bit concerned about Winder's reaction to this matter at first, however, he seems to be content with it. A spitting image of a cold scientist only caring about his experiments and results have followed. So Dinian was the only one opposing his this plan, but gladly his influence has been weakened lately. Weakening lately. I think he might have lost his mind after touching the pendant. I can't really blame him. I wouldn't touch it again for any price. Quote it. <coughs> Wind your son. So the wind god is my father then. My apologies for that cough, by the way. Uh, what does it matter? Apparently I was nothing but an experiment. Well, I mean, Ibis just did tell you that, you know, you were created, so, I mean, what is this hallway down here for? Oh, one guy, um, psh, whatever. Do your thing, just attack. Limpid ice, huh? Okay. Don't care, just... Yeah, just, just, just attack. He's really not doing much. You know what, Arius, throw a stone at him. Be annoying, be that guy. I expected more people on this fight, to be honest. Like, I'm kinda sad there was only one. We took, what, 400 damage maybe overall? Some of the sort. One guy again, really? Okay, fine. You know what? I'm tired of this. Um, you don't have an Earth Shot, do you? Do you have an Earth Shot? No, but you have a Temple Shot. And why not? Light combo. Okay, basic attacks for all day long. Wata! Stone him! Stone him! Wow! He got grounded from Garrick's uh, for Delbo. What is it? 1,339 damage? Was that Garrick? That was a lot of damage. Scrolls, there's nothing of interest written on them. Your low quality weapons and rope, nothing we could use. Low quality weapons and rope, nothing we could use. Weird potions. Weird potions. Enemy. Ah, here we go. Here's an actual fight. Um. It's Serpent of Zemicon with that. And I just realized we didn't actually check the room in the bottom right, did we? No, I don't think we did. I will have to head down there and check that out. You know, as soon as this fight's actually over against uh, the servants here. Oh. And did not even get to use an ability. They all died. Okay. Weird potions? Indeed, weird potions. Um, book? Sure. Truly abhorred this place. All those wizards are so full of themselves. It's ridiculous, really. I wash their fancy robes and polish their test tubes. Okay, then, guy. Uh, and yet, they treat me like crap. Additionally, there seems to be some severe conflicts between the elemental rooms. Almost everyone is scheming against each other, and no one has a clear conscience. I wonder how long it'll be before all hell breaks loose here. Cabish? Caboosh? Caboosh. The novice. Caboosh? I'm gonna go with Caboosh. Oh, uh, oh, no comment about the mouse hole game. It's empty. Empty. Empty? Is there anything in these? Empty. Okay. Sacks of wheat. More wheat. Wheat. Same wheat. Um, lab equipment. Okay. And what, what was in the bottom right room over here? And what is this? Uh, no, don't go through the hidden passageway just yet, because, um, I didn't come down here to check anything out. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to end off the episode here. We got quite a bit of story. Is there anything on these shelves, by chance? Mostly boring essays, calculations, okay. Okay. Nothing over here? No, nah, nothing over there. Uh, we could fight him, but, uh, ooh. There's a cheese wheel and a knife on this table. It's for the mouse. 
Anywho, we're going to end off the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like. Uh, a lot of story in this episode. Uh, it's definitely interesting. Until next time, though, take it easy.